Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Still in Bielsa State, but in a Lebele community in Ogbea local government area of Bielsa State, where it was alleged recently in the social media that the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, awarded contracts for the construction of a wooden bridge at a cost of 2.3 billion naira, leaders of the community have dismissed the allegations as false and misleading. Correspondent Chika Bodozier, who visited the community recently, tells us more. In recent weeks, Reports on a wooden bridge allegedly constructed by the NDDC in a Lebele community at the cost of 2.3 billion naira have gone viral in the social media. Our crew decided to visit the community and discovered that authors of the reports either misunderstood or deliberately misinterpreted the Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Godswill Akbabio, who recently made reference to a collapsed bridge in a Lebele community. Our findings revealed that the bridge captured in the social media and portrayed as an NDDC project was actually constructed through the magnanimity of Mr. David Lyon, candidate of the All Progressive Congress in the 2019 Bios governorship election. NDDC has never come to do even something of a, just to make a survey or to plan it. Nothing. The bridge I saw on the WhatsApp was built by the former um, uh, governor aspirant from APC, Chief David Leon. I make bold to say that NDDC never awarded 2.3 billion for the construction of a wooden bridge in a Lebele community, not to talk of the local government as a whole. It was further gathered that the bridge Akwabio mentioned in his recent statement was a second bridge in Elebele. In a place in, in Bayasa, Elebele, a bridge collapsed. Seven communities are drinking water, using canoes to go and get drinking water. It won't cost three billion or two billion to do the bridge. But if the budget does not even give 50 million naira, how can they do it? Revelations made by the community corroborates the position of the NDDC. In a press statement, Director of Corporate Affairs of the NDDC, Charles Audley, averred that the commission hereby declares that it has no such projects in Elebele. We have gone through our records for the past 18 years and there is no contract for the construction of a bridge in the community. The statement further reads, Elebele community sought the intervention of the NDDC to rebuild the collapsed bridge. The proposal is in our system and it is presently at its design stage. Undoubtedly, the reports on a wooden bridge allegedly constructed by the NDDC are fake and intended to mislead the public. However, the bridge to which the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs referred is actually in need of intervention after it was damaged by a huge duty truck sometime in 2019. A trailer that carries stone base from local content job, NCDBMB job at uh, Mayawan Park, bring down this bridge in 2019. This is the second LBL bridge that collapsed in 2019. This bridge is not only important to the people of this community, but it's important to the whole senatorial district of Bayesa State, because this is the only route where they pass. Everyone going to Nimbe Brass, they pass through here. And now that this bridge is collapsed, all of, they are not comfortable. With two bridges connecting Elebele to the rest of Bielsa State completely damaged, the community has had to contend with serious transportation and communication hiccups. The plight of the oil-rich Elebele community, which boasts of over 18 oil wells, is further compounded by the absence of basic amenities like water and electricity. Residents of this neglected community are calling on government at the state and federal levels to come to their aid as a matter of urgency. Inside the Niger Delta, 